There's something out there. You can't see it or touch it. And yet you know it when you've got it. It's what drives us to create, to go the extra mile. It is success, personal satisfaction, why we do what we do. We find it in the details of each project and in the feeling of a job well done. Talk with any fabricator in the solid surface industry and they'll tell you what inspires them. I just like the fact that we can create something of use for people. To know what I can deal with efficiencies and productivity, that's a good benefit for me. If you're looking for what makes you happy in life, you know, if you're doing the things you enjoy and you're getting paid for it, uh, that's a combination that's just, you know, it's really hard to get much better than that. I just enjoy the, that feedback, that customer, you know, putting their hand up on your shoulder and saying, man, this kitchen looks hot, this looks great. And um, it didn't hurt when they write you a check. They'll also tell you how good it feels to create a successful business. We're probably doing twice the business we were doing three years ago, and we probably have only two or three more people more, and those are mainly installers to go out and install what we're producing out of here. It's not additional shop people. You know, it's very rewarding as a business owner to know, you know, all this is fun, all this is quicker, all this is going to come in my pocket at the end of the day. Solid Surface is dynamic in that people are always finding ways for us to use it rather than us trying to have to market the product. It's taken on a life all of its own. It has character and personality. They want us to put it in places that we really didn't think of. So the consumer pushes the envelope for us, which requires new technology, a new understanding of the capabilities uh, that we can bring to bear. Change is happening. Digital templates, computer-aided design, CNC, electronic sales and service. All over the country, successful solid surface businesses are using these modern techniques and producing to higher standards than ever before. Where we really see the savings in time is when we start doing complicated shapes, um, radiuses and uh, things like that, uh, where in the past it would take uh, somebody uh, three or four hours just to make a template to cut that round shape out and then it would take another three hours to cut out the edging to, to fit underneath that in, in that same shape. Whereas we do the, the work on the, on the CAD and send it out to the router and uh, within a matter of minutes those shapes are cut out and they're perfect. It's just like getting candy every time I operate it because I know that every time that the machine is running for 10 minutes and we're cutting parts and it's picking up and it's cutting a little part here and it's cutting out the trivets and it's cutting out the sink, I know that when I was doing that by hand that that took me hours to do that. We can put out more products with the same number of people much quicker. When we were doing it the old way, it was nothing for us to get three and four weeks behind on trying to fabricate. And our, our bottleneck was a fabrication shop. You just couldn't throw more people in and get it done that much faster. So when you did run into bottlenecks, it was hard to catch up. We're predominantly a solid surface uh, countertop fabricator. Uh, we fabricate uh, roughly around 100 uh, kitchens a month out of this facility right here. And then we bought the Axes machine because of its size and mainly because I felt like they were committed to making a machine especially for our industry, especially for the solid surface industry. And so that's why we chose to go with the Axes machine. We went to see several others in operation, spent a day in, or at least several hours with several of the other machines. We looked at a lot of the different options and actually even put all the options side by side on a spreadsheet and gave it a little rating as far as what benefit is good, what's not. Of course, salespeople, they'll tell you all the benefits they have, but some, some of them are not important to us. So I had to weigh out what was important, what was not. And with that, when it came right down to it, uh, not having that much background in CNC's and the operation and the training in the Axis machine, I had a good combination of training, education, uh, hands-on experience, uh, several machines out in the solid surface field. So, they really tune this machine to the solid surface industry and not trying to take a machine made for another industry and trying to adapt to this industry. They actually designed the machine specifically catered to the solid surface industry. When I was speaking to some of the other manufacturers, is they had a machine and their machine did a lot of things. You could cut signs with it, you could cut boat parts with it, you could cut house trailer floors with it, you could cut 
uh, all these things. And when I talked to them, and I said, well, I want to build countertops. You know, how do you build countertops? And they said, well, you know, you just you cut them, you draw the parts, and it cuts them. And we have a software package, and we'll sell you the package, and we sell you the router, and we'll give you some training, and, and you'll be good to go. When I talked to Axes, were more interested in the fabrication business and had actually fabricated countertops. And when I began asking questions about how do you do this with a countertop, you know, I had a very specific answer about we have a resource person that's available that can answer those questions. You know, we've done what you're doing, this is the way you do that. When I ask who's somebody I can call that's doing this, you know, they got a list of people, they gave me those people said, call these guys, you know, ask them how they do it, how, what was their experience. And I felt like that that offered a lot more value than someone that had a machine that they knew could do it, but they didn't really have the uh, training staff and the processes and the things in place specifically for cutting countertops. It's set up to build countertops and cut out countertops, and that's exactly what it does. And uh, I was very skeptical because I was big on uh, other, these other machines, and then when I seen this thing run, and after going down for the training and running it, uh, for what we do, it, it definitely works just great. We have to butt a lot less seams together with the CNC router that we did the traditional. We throw everything up on the router in a solid surface site and cut it, whether it's complicated or simple. Some jobs that used to take two, three hours, we can cut them out in 10, 15 minutes on this thing, programming and everything. It's efficient. You spend less time per job and get better material usage. The uh, Axis machine does help us manage inventory and yield of material. Sometimes the customer you know, will ask for the cutout of where the sink or the cooktop goes, and, and when I show you one of those, it's all holes. There's nothing, there's nothing in there because we've used that material. I tell you, you can take this thing out of our shop right now because Seriously, we, we depend on it. If it ever goes down and we have a power failure or something like that, we're kind of stuck because we're so used to using this and having it cut out all our stuff in the shop. It's just a very valuable piece of equipment to us. We actually engrave the backside of the material and create a recess that that sink sits down inside of so that we don't have to put locator blocks to locate it. We create just a little trough that sits in there. You know, you put the glue in and you put the clamp down on it and we've eliminated one whole process of locating glue blocks to hold the sink so that it doesn't slide around when you put the glue on it. Uh, and those type things are things that you don't have to train anyone to do, you just put it inside the drawing and it happens every time you do it. I think our efficiency has gone up. Uh, not only our efficiency has gone up, but our quality of product that we're putting, putting out is much better quality product today than it was three years ago. When you got a, a heavy, dusty environment, those people don't want to come work in that every day. Overall, from an employee's point of view, it has been extremely positive. I think uh, I've had uh, employees come in or prospective employees come in and say, you know, you're running CNC, aren't you? So they, get, they tend to get excited about that. Uh, they're used to the other shops doing it the old way. And, you know, when they're working for one of the competitors and they're doing it the old way, uh, they get tired of breathing the dust. They get tired of cutting them down the old way. They like to come over here and just take the parts off the machine, put it together. It's easier to find people who'd rather do some high-tech programming and running a router that's going to create a heck of a lot less dust than they would go in and use straight edges, hand routers, and just work in a very dusty environment. The CNC router has cut down a tremendous amount on our dust within the work areas. The operator uses just a few buttons at the machine. And your jobs are set up in a familiar Windows environment. That CNC is, is uh, very easy to use. I really see it as two different functions. We have an operator that operates the machine and we have a programmer that programs the machine. She's never built a countertop, she's never picked up a router, she's never sanded a piece of solid surface, but she programs 100 plus kitchens a month for us. The training we took was about a three day training period and that training period we spent half the time on the machine and half the time actually learning AutoCAD, which we were getting familiar with. With the other machines, it, it, it takes a matter of, you know, I ran those machines for years and I still didn't learn every, everything about it. With this machine, I feel a lot more comfortable running this machine, just knowing it's that, that much easier to program. All I had to do was get on my computer, work with a Windows operating system that everybody's familiar with, and I was able to start programming for that thing in a matter of days. This is the only machine I've used that we've got, it's called the digitizer, but you can actually lay a, a template on there and it'll trace it for you. You bring it back into the computer, into Toolpath, and just basically draws it for you and you send it right back out and run it after minusing your edges or whatever. Uh, 
programming, a lot more simple to program. And it's all digital, so it's all in a real small little area instead of those stacks and stacks of templates we used to have leaning against the wall that you had to thumb through to find the one you want and then hope it's not broken or damaged in all that stacking. Uh, now we just go to the computer, pull up the drawing we want, check the model number, there it is, click it, drag it, put it on the top where you want it. You know, 20 different jobs this year may be the same bowl, just in a totally different location. Easy just to click and drag and move that bowl where you want it, this new countertop, and it's going to cut it out exactly the same every time. CNC routing is not an exclusive club of big fabricators. When we started cutting tops out, if we were only doing five, six, seven kitchens a week, uh, it would definitely justify having a machine like this. The big thing is that, that you can do so much more work with so much uh, less manpower. And you know, it never calls in sick. It, you know, it doesn't have to take off early. Uh, it, it, it doesn't talk back to you. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great employee. An expenditure like this for this size shop was a little tough for me to swallow. I mean, it was tough to, to come to grips with spending that money. Um, I'm glad I did. I had a guy here that was able to begin to learn CAD pretty quick. Uh, the training was good. Um, we were cutting kitchens in a little over two weeks. Once we got back from Chicago, we were cutting kitchens, and we'd just get better and better and better with it. Basically, one of the ways we looked at it was we said, by the time we finance this machine over a five or six year period, the machine's gonna cost me about $90 per work day. So the machine cost me about the equivalent of one employee. However, we had about five fabricators in the shop fabricating kitchen tops every day. Now we're down to three employees plus, plus myself for about an hour a day. And so we basically replaced two people and still are putting out the same exact production. Actual operating time is probably less than 30 to 45 minutes out of the day. And a majority of that time is actually sanding of the parts, not actually cutting out. The cutting out process is probably no more than 10 minutes of actual cutting time. Is there a magic number? I would say one kitchen a day you can justify and it will pay for itself within five years. Finding sales and marketing advantages is key to growing your business. Customer perceptions are an important part of your message. What kind of image is your business projecting? Most of our work is one kitchen, custom built, one at a time. And many times people think CNC routing is for production work where you're doing multiples over and over. Uh, that's so far from the truth.